Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of Infinito the 2. So there's been a new manner update to the game, the one that I was waiting for as it was announced by the developer. Uh, and the version 1.8.10 is finally live. Uh, so in this video I'm gonna cover uh, the most interesting uh, changes to the game with this update. It's mostly quality of life improvements, uh, profile, the badges, you know, addings. Uh, so there is no, no new levels, no changes to towers, to the actual gameplay, but it's you no know, quality of life improvements as the developer is working on the next season, is working also on the next game, Infinito the 3. Um, so yeah, now the first thing that you're going to notice is that when you open the game there will be some hints around, uh, if I just reload for example my profile, there will be some hints around to show you uh, certain aspects of the game. For example here, um, there will be this hint on the left side. See, it looks like you got some items. Click on this pattern to open your inventory. So that's the idea. And another thing is that uh, change the difficulty, right? You have unlocked endless mode. Click here to change the difficulty of the game and so forth. So there are these kind of windows, these hints that can really help you to, uh, to maybe check things you haven't seen yet or you haven't really studied. Now there is a summary of the changes here on the in-game page. But I'm going to put um, in the description below the link with the full patch notes and the full announcement. And now what are the most important changes? Well, first of all, is uh, the, the overall hints on the game. The fact that now items can be start. See here? So now when you start an item, you can't sell it anymore. And this is especially useful for certain items that you might sell uh, involuntarily. Uh, so you can just mark them so you know 100% that you're not going to no, sell them. Uh, and uh, so yeah, this is very very useful for for that reason, especially you know customer items like uh, bases. There are some bases that you don't want to sell because they're pretty good, and so you want to just start them. So in that way, the bases that you start will never be sold, and then you can just bulk sell the remaining ones, and you're still gonna know that the start ones will not be sold. So that's a very good thing. Uh, another thing is that you can see here now on the continue pattern, you can see your save game. So how much time you have played it, which level, and the uh, uh, difficulty. So uh, you can check right away which level you, know, you are playing on. Uh, there also have been some changes on the game over menu. You can see that's another hint uh, on, on the game, right? The fact that if you click here, you can build modifiers. And, uh, and now, for example, when you start a game, right? And you just play a little bit, and then you end it the game over menu has changed. Now uh, there is a back to menu, but now there is a research button. So if you click on this, you can actually be teleported right away into research so you can upgrade your uh, research right away. Uh, so it's very, very cool. It's a research button, but also there is another new button called next level. And this is gonna allow you to progress through the next stage right away. You don't have to click home, no, and then reopen everything and then click on the level. You can just click on it right away, so you don't even have to lose time between one level and another. another. Uh, and this may be useful like for speed running or for uh, things like that. And also very, very nice is that now there are 72 total different hints that have been added on the bottom right here, which are going to give you hints about like enemies, about strategies, about uh, towers, you know, modifiers, uh, abilities. And uh, yeah, so some things regarding the overall of the game, uh, 72 different hints. And if you click on here, you can just check all of them, one after the other. So for example, the first one is uh, the fact that freeze, right? It's less effective against you can other enemies. Uh, some of these info, you know, it's um, is well known. Some other info might not be so well known. And so yeah, you can definitely improve your uh, um, knowledge of the game by reading all the different hints which is which are pretty pretty cool uh so yeah that's the idea and uh, now another thing is that also on research well actually for this one I have to go on my other account but on research now there will be when you zoom in there will be a little bit of a, a, an icon here that's going to show you as you can see here which items do you actually need for that particular research to be able to get it for example, see here in all these researches, I only need green papers. So if I just get more green papers, I could get it. Uh, so that's the idea. And uh, you can also see researches that are pretty far away. For example, this one here that would need both green papers, tensor, infer, and the uh, legendary blueprint. 
So, so yeah, you can check already beforehand which resources might be needed for that particular upgrade and therefore you can maybe prepare beforehand or you know a little bit more what to form without actually having to open the, the window, right, to see the actual requirements. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's very, very nice as well. Quality of life improvement. Uh, another thing is that here also on the cast maps, when you are farming and you're getting resources, there will be an icon showing you when the resource is depleted. So uh, let me see here. Uh, yeah. So in this case, I place this color and see this number. So on cast maps, remember, you can't farm infinitely. There is a limit to the, to the farming. When you reach that particular number of uh, scholar, you will not be able to get any more. Like when you end the game, you're gonna only get 380 scholar. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's how it works. And let's see here if I can get it pretty pretty quickly. And now there will be an icon, actually an icon showing on top of the miner and also an icon in game that's going to show you, look, you have already reached the maximum uh, resource, uh, that's it. And you can see here, that's the icon. So if you, even if you have another window open, you can see the icon. So if you click on it, it says here, source tile depleted. Now you can check for more information by clicking here and it says you have obtained all the resources from this source, the miner will continue to work as usual you will not get any more resources at the end of the game. So you can still use these extra resources for Gauss, right? To feed Gauss or to uh, gay, give um, experience, right? And, and so forth. It's just the fact that when you end the game, all those extra resources will not be counted. So you'll only be gaining, uh, in this case for me, it was 380 scholar, and then that's it. You know, it's capped. So uh, yeah, that's the idea. And um, and yeah, I think those are the most important changes overall to the game. Then the last thing is regarding your profile. Now, a cool thing is that the uh, profile level has been changed. Now there isn't anymore the unmarried batch, but now there is just a profile level that's gonna keep on leveling up. And uh, when the experience that you gain, you know, from, uh, let me see here if I enter from here. Yeah, the experience that you gain from just feeding and completing the levels is gonna be added. And uh, now there is this new batch that, uh, yeah, depending on the levels they have reached, you're gonna get uh, more rarity badges, right? There is also this other batch called seasonal batch that it depends on that particular season, how much experience you were able to earn. So the level of the season. And of course, the experience needed for this level is much lower than the experience you need for the profile level. And that's why you can see it's much higher. Um, and then on top of that, also, now there is also a YouTube batch and you can link, if you upload videos on YouTube about the game, you can link your uh, YouTube channel and you can put up to six videos, so six highlights, into your profile so that any player uh, on the game you know, can just search for you. Uh, they can open into your page right, and they can check uh, the uh, YouTube videos that you have put. And if you click here, it's gonna open a link. And um, so that's very, very cool. You know, this is a way to promote content about the game to make more players uh, know about the game and uh, yeah, promoting the game overall. So it's very, very, very nice. Uh, and there are many YouTube others. Uh, so far, um, I don't really think that many of them might have uh, unlocked the, the badge. So that's why they might not be shown here. But, uh, but yeah, there are many, many um, players that upload videos. Also very, very instructive, very, very good. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend you to check them out. And the Rainy Cat actually is the developer. Uh, he is the one that you know has created the game and is developing all the stuff. And you can see also in his hand, in his uh, profile has videos coming from different players. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's very very cool. Now this is again another way to promote the game and to share it with uh, players and to make it more accessible. Uh, very interesting here that he has been banned one time, probably as it, as it was testing things, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, so yeah, those are the quality of life. You know, it changes on the profiles on 
on this last uh, update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya. Bye bye.